Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to a Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 3 discussion video. It's been a while since I've made a dedicated video talking about the possibility of Garden Warfare 3 and I'm gonna be getting into why, what news has come up that has been revitalizing not just me but the entire Garden Warfare community about the fact that chances are looking higher than ever that Garden Warfare 3 is real and maybe it'll be announced very soon. If you guys don't know, earlier in 2017, there were both good news and bad news coming out about Garden Warfare 2. And before I get into any of this information or the information thereafter, I do wanna say it's this isn't all information that I found. This is all information that we as a community, individuals throughout the community have found. And thank you to everybody who has sent me or tweeted at me or commented uh, different news that you have found you wanna let me know about it. I really appreciate when you guys do that because of course I'm only one zebra. I can't keep up with everything. But but last year, early 2017, we had some good news and some bad news. The good news was that PopCap was actually listing hiring positions on their website. The official PopCap website was definitely looking for people to work on an upcoming shooter on consoles, or at least upcoming something on consoles that would be AAA and you need experience making shooter games. So obviously that was a huge hint that they were working on something and obviously, that was in early 2017. The bad news was at that same time they had confirmed that there will be no more DLC, major DLC updates going to be added to Garden Warfare 2. So that meant nothing more like Trouble in Zombopolis, Trials and Nomes, Frontline Fighters. We wouldn't be getting that anymore. We would still be getting events and boss hunts and super mix modes, just nothing major. And that's been a shame, and 2017, in my opinion, wasn't the greatest for Garden Warfare 2. We had a lot of slow points. There were months and months where just, just about nothing was really happening, except for occasional community challenge and super mix mode. Nothing crazy. But in 2018, things have been really picking up. There's been so much Garden Warfare news. They've been putting so much love back in the game. Rux has changed from something that would happen once or twice a month. And sometimes you would go months and months without him selling anything. He's available every single week now. And it seems like it's about once a month we're starting to get a new ability again out of one of those Ruxes. We're still having our events. Right now, Luck of the Zombies going on. Later this month, we have the, uh, what's it called? The Spring Inning. So we have all the events still going on. We have at least one community challenge a month. We've been having, this is our first month ever, I think, where we have two boss hunts going on. Garden Warfare 2 is being pumped full of life in 2018, which is really exciting. Another scary thing was that a lot of people were leaving PopCap after Garden Warfare 2 launched, but we can only hope that they were being, more people are being hired. Um, we've even seen the launch of a couple of legendary hats in the last couple of months through Rux. And more importantly, they're adding sort of kind of new things to the game. You might notice if you've been keeping up with the Guard of Warfare 2 community that they've been testing out beta testing at tournaments, 4v4 esports tournaments in Garden Warfare 2. Never thought I'd see the day, especially two years after launch. Of course, late February was two years after Garden Warfare 2 launched. So that's really crazy. Um. And they've just been in beta, so nothing crazy has happened, but imagine a couple months from now, having like a proper Garden Warfare 2 tournament. Or even more, what if they really beta test it here, learn a lot from it, and have a more competitive game mode in their next game? That would be crazy. But I'm gonna be focusing more not on what I wanna see in a sequel in today's video, I'm gonna be talking more about why I think a sequel is coming. Because news has been starting to crop up, along with the fact that Guard Warfare 2 is being given more love than almost ever, except for, of course, that first six to 12 months when the game launched and we were getting these DLC updates, Trials and Nomas, like I said, Frontline Fighters, Trouble and Zambopolis. But as soon as Frontline Fighters ended, 2017 just sort of dipped down a lot and not much happened. And we thought that maybe that's because they're working on a new game, we hadn't heard much from them, and it was following that cycle, of course, We've talked about the cycle before in 2014, or in, yeah, was it? No, 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 it was 2013, Garden Warfare 1 was announced. 2014, Garden Warfare 1 released. 2015, Garden Warfare 2 was announced. 2016, Garden Warfare 2 released. So we thought the pattern might have been that in 2017, Garden Warfare 3 was announced, and 2018, Garden Warfare 3 launches. Maybe they've delayed that a year, and we can maybe expect a Garden Warfare 3 launch this year because not only have they been interacting with the community more, uh, I think Garden Warfare 2 just sent out a letter to the community on their official website a couple days ago that was just like, 
basically thanking us and being sure to ask us if we have any more feedback to let them know. And they're working on a ton of cool stuff, which is exciting to know that they're keeping us in the know. Instead of how awfully silent they were for most of last year, we just didn't know what was going on with PopCap. I a lot of people are starting to get worried that PopCap was just going to be straight up uh, taken down. Maybe the EA didn't want to deal with it anymore. They were gonna shut down PopCap. A lot of scary rumors going on, but it seems like now they're up to more things. And this right here, what I'm about to talk about, is probably the biggest hint we have towards a Garden Warfare 3. Well, two things. <laughs> First off, some of the uh, directors of Garden Warfare 2 have been recently tweeting for feedback. They said, if there was a sequel to Garden Warfare 2, what would you like to see in it? And of course, it's a very, very good question, and I won't be answering that question right now because I plan on making another video talking about what I'd like to see in a Garden Warfare 3, but obviously they're thinking of something. They want to ask that question if they weren't working or trying to start working on something. And more importantly, this has been the biggest hint that a lot of you guys have been letting me know about. If you don't remember, in when Garden Warfare 2 launched, they also launched one of their PVZ comics. They've launched tons of Plants vs. Zombies official comics over the years, but there was one called Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, and what that comic did is it bridged the storyline gap between Garden Warfare 1 and Garden Warfare 2. Well, on Amazon, a listing came up of a new Garden Warfare comic. It was Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare Volume 2, and that's odd because the only other time we've gotten a Garden Warfare volume was when Garden Warfare 2 launched. And this is set to launch, according to Amazon, in September. Now that could be a placeholder date, and the cover of the comic didn't seem to give too many details. It was simply just a scientist and a pew shooter fighting. Two characters we've had since Garden Warfare 1. So really not too much info we can get from that. But finally, the most important part is the description of the book itself details that this will tell the story between Garden Warfare 2 and Garden Warfare 3. Now for a lot of people right there, bam, that confirms it. Could that have been a typo? Yes, maybe, but it's been reported on a quite a lot from a lot of people at this point. And as far as I know, the current standing is that on the American Amazon listing, that description was removed, but on the European, I think the UK Amazon listing, that description is still there. So that's odd. Obviously, it would make a lot of sense if it is bridging the gap between Garden Warfare 2 and Garden Warfare 3, seeing how the last time the comic launched, it was to bridge the gap once again between Garden Warfare 1 and Garden Warfare 2. So, that's crazy. Could we be seeing a Garden Warfare 3 as soon as this year? I would be very surprised. But E3 is coming up, and EA has always had a huge presence at E3. They always announce their biggest games there. And to my surprise, EA had literally no pop cap or plans for the zombies presence at last year's E3. Usually they at least showcase the games that came out. I figured that they would have some kind of booth where maybe they would have PVZ Heroes because it was their newest mobile game, but no. EA gave no love to PVZ at E3 last year, so hopefully they make up for that and we will see Garden Warfare 3. How exciting would that be? Like, I think that'd be awesome. But will it happen? Chances are looking higher than ever. All this news is starting to bubble up, and I think it really will lead to something. I honestly think they're working on something, and hopefully it doesn't get canceled. <laughs> I don't think it would. I don't think they'd be hinting and be asking and engaging with the community if they weren't at least decently far in development. Um, obviously, that might not be the case, but I think the fact that they're working on a comic almost solidifies this. Personally, it doesn't 100% confirm this for me. It could just be that the first volume of Garden Warfare 1's comic sold really well, so they just wanna do another one. But the biggest reason they did that Garden Warfare 1 comic was to promote the game. It'd be weird if they already started hiring the artists and the story writers and the publishers of that comic to make a comic on Garden Warfare 3 if Garden Warfare 3 was just gonna be canceled. That would be a huge waste of money, and I'm sure they're not interested in doing that. So I'm going to assume that Garden Warfare 3, if this comic really is about that, that Garden Warfare 3 is probably steadily in development. So when it comes to the discussion of when should we expect it, what do we think might be in it? Will it be Garden Warfare 3 or will it be a totally different shooter? Those questions are really up in the air and that's where I really want your input. What do you think is next for Garden Warfare? What do you think is next for PVZ? Because we still don't know what the rest of PopCap is doing. Traditionally, we've had for the last couple years sort of two separate teams at PopCap. 
I believe they have a headquarters in California and in Vancouver, Canada. And I believe, I could be getting this mixed up, so you might wanna do your own research. <laughs> Unlike me, apparently. I think that the Vancouver team typically works on the mobile PVZ game, so PVZ2, PVZ Heroes, while the California team works on the Garden Warfare series, Garden Warfare 1 and 2. So I wonder if that will get mixed up. Who knows, maybe it's not just Garden Warfare 3. What if a PVZ 3 is coming soon? Maybe more PVZ Heroes expansions are coming soon as well. I think there's so much more possibility for the PVZ franchise that we're just sort of hitting the iceberg, which is great, because PVZ is turning 10 years old next year. That's crazy cool. So uh, yeah, I mean, we might even see more, you know, stuff coming out soon. While the second birthday of Garden Warfare 2 just passed, they didn't celebrate the first birthday of Garden Warfare 2 either. Instead, they held all the celebrations for May. Now, they didn't do anything super crazy for Garden Warfare 2 in May last year for the eighth birthday of PVZ, but they did give people a whole bunch of awesome free stuff. Will we see the same in this May? Maybe more. Maybe we'll get free stuff in Garden Warfare 2. We'll get even more hints towards a new game because that is a month before E3. So if there's a Garden Warfare 3 announced or any kind of PVZ game, the chances are very high it'll be announced there. So yeah, I think that's all the news I can get over or go over. Uh, that's all the news I've gotten from you guys and I have found myself. I would love to hear your thoughts on how Garden Warfare 2 is evolving, how the chances of Garden Warfare 3 are looking higher than ever. I am surely excited for just the possibility of it. I'll have tons of videos coming very soon talking about what I want to see in Garden Warfare 3, what I'd like to see in all that kind of stuff, and even some other stuff. I have a video I've been working on for a while. I've been trying to make it good. It's uh, canceled characters in Garden Warfare 2. I have found some cool artwork that includes some canceled characters that they never actually ended up putting in the game. And I definitely wanna make a video showcasing those and maybe those will be characters that actually end up showing up in Garden Warfare 3, you never know. But for now, that is going to wrap it up for today's Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2 discussion video. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.